Hi everyone, this is Community Chef Des from the Sylvia Center, a nonprofit that specializes in providing hands on food and nutrition education for young people in New York City and Columbia County. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make pancakes. Pancakes! So before we start reading the pancake book just a little bit, I have Levi, my nephew, and Dania, my niece. Say hi, guys. Hi. Mother, said Jack, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. I am busy, and you will have to help me. How can I help, asked Jack. Okay. We'll need some flour, she replied. Take a sickle and cut as much wheat as the donkey can carry. Then take it to the mill. The miller will grind it into flour. When Jack had cut enough wheat, he put put it on the donkey's back and took it to the miller. What's this, guys? My horsey. That's a donkey? Donkey. Yeah. The first thing we have to do, guys, is combine rolled oats into a cup, cup of hot water. We did that already. We have a sitting on the side, okay? okay. Meanwhile, we're going to combine flour. We're going to combine flour. Don't touch it. Baking powder. Baking soda, sugar, and salt. So we're going to use light brown sugar today. After we put the sugar inside, we're going to work with two tablespoons of baking powder and one tablespoon of baking the soda. Sugar. Me. So Levi, you're gonna hold this and you're gonna dig it. We're gonna make sure it's full and then we're gonna level it off. You see that? And then you're gonna put it in there. Good job. Now we're going to do one teaspoon of baking soda. So, so we're going to level that out. Put that right in there. After we've done that step, we're going to do our salt and sugar. Our salt calls for half a Me. teaspoon. You want to do the salt? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to hold it. I'm going to pour it. And two. You're going to make sure it's just enough in there. Perfect. Just dump it in there. Okay. Our light brown sugar is our last step. And guys, that calls for two tablespoons. You see how big this is? Yes. Yeah. Two tablespoons of that. After placing our two tablespoons of brown sugar in, what about me? We have all our dry ingredients. We're ready to whisk it up. But before we do that, we have to include our buttermilk. Now! I didn't have any buttermilk. What I did was combine milk and lemon. Seven. And I let it sit for about 20 minutes until it curdled. I want you both to hold it. I want you and Dania to hold this. Ready? Now we're going to pour that in. <laughs> Being that we're dealing with younger kids, we want to have our eggs cracked. Go ahead and mix it. Good job. I'll hold the bowl for you. Okay? Don't mind. Have our vanilla extract in our one teaspoon. So, Dania, I want you to place that right in there. Two teaspoon of oil. Ready? Two 
Good job. One more. Good job. This is called whisking, okay? See how fast and quick I'm going? So after we've done that, we're going to let that sit right here. Have our oats that's been sitting in some warm water. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and drain that and then add that to our mixture. I'll be making mini pancakes just because it's easier for the kitties. You're going to pour your batter right into it. As it bubbles, you're going to place your blueberries, spread it out as much as possible just so they have blueberries proportioned out inside the whole thing. As it bubbles, that'll indicate when it's ready to flip. Gonna get it right on the spatula. Open. Hi everybody, we're back. Just a quick recap of what we did today. We made blueberry pancakes. So we did blueberry. We did strawberries to decorate. We added flour, milk. What else? Chocolate. We didn't add chocolate in this one. What did we add, guys? Flour, flour, oil, oil, baking soda, baking soda, and then we use what we call a whisk. We use the whisk, and then we mix. How does it taste? I'm gonna put it in my mouth. 